That's a great question. Joel Embiid and the 76ers hosting Giannis and the Bucks tonight after coming off a season opening loss to the Celtics Tuesday. The Bucks are without all-star Chris Middleton due to wrist surgery. Shannon, who wins tonight? I'm going to take the Sixers only because Chris Middleton is not playing and mm-hmm. the Bucks are one and two against the Sixers without Middleton. So I'm going to take, I think Giannis is going to have an unbelievable ball game, probably somewhere between 35 and 40 points, somewhere between 12 and 16 rebounds, and probably five to six assists. But that's not going to be enough to overcome the tandem of James Harden and uh, Joel Embiid. So I'm going to say the Sixers win a close ball game. Mm. I thought you loved Giannis. I I, thought he was invincible. Once they get Chris Middleton back, they're coming out of the East. I've got the Sixers coming out of the East, which is why I need the Sixers to win this game at home in which they are favored by four points. It's almost like a must win psychologically because the the, the big three played pretty well at Boston, but they never really stayed in the game to me. And I was disappointed overall in the ball movement because it still looked like a bunch of solo acts to me. So at home in the home opener, you need to rise and shine because your roster is completely healthy. They still don't have Connaughton, obviously Ingles, uh, along with Chris Middleton. So you, you need to go ahead and show us yeah. tonight. So once they get those guys back, they're going to have shooting, they have inside out, y'all in trouble. No, I He's don't think so because Embiid is better than – your guy. Better than what? He's just what? better. He's, just, he's more Don't of a do beast. That. Yeah, don't he do is. that. Don't watch. do that. Giannis. Just watch. Greek. He'll put the number on him tonight. Big number. Yeah. He'll outplay him. Tonight. Mm-hmm. But when it matters the most, mm-hmm. you remember what he did to him last year? Mm-hmm. You remember last year when he went to Philly? Same thing he I did. I just to- care about tonight. Okay. Give me four points and I take no. Chris Middleton, no. an integral part of what they do. No Guys, great show. Shannon, again, congrats. Give the day brought to you by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. The Lakers play host technically to the Clippers. Of course, they're coming off that 123 to 109 loss to the Warriors. Meanwhile, the Clips are playing their first game of the season, and Kawhi Leonard makes his big return tonight. It's been over a year since he tore his ACL in the 2021 playoffs. His squad, a five and a half point favorite this evening, according to Fox Bet Sportsbook. Shannon, who wins? Man, Skip, look. This is all. This is all a hard pick, because I am really not. I, I, I'm taking the Lakers, but against my better judgment. My better judgment says well, I should you, take the Clippers. You've been talking big and bad about your Lakers against the Clippers. Yeah, but huh? Oh, so now the moment of truth comes, and and you're starting to waffle. Cl- nah, the Clippers, man. The Clippers. I don't know. They just get up. If they had to play the Lakers, they win the championship. They Every get, night, they, they get up for the Lakers, and they've beaten the Lakers like twenty something times, I believe, in, in 22, 23 meetings. Uh, look. The Lakers are going to have to play. I, I'm just hoping we can get 75, 80 points from our big two. Did we get some timely shooting? Um, I believe Kawhi is going to be on a minutes restriction tonight. I don't think he plays 30, 35 minutes tonight, open the night. I think he plays something like 25 minutes. Uh, but the thing is, PG, PG goes off against the Lakers. I think he still holds that against them. Y'all should have traded for me. Don't think I was going to come here in free agency. Trade for me to show me that y'all really want me because he, uh, he gets up to play these guys. So for me, I'm gonna say the big I'm gonna say the big two gives me 75 to 80. We get some timely shooting. I think Kendrick Nunn gives us another 18, 20. Mm. And the Lakers win one 116 to 112. To 112. Yeah. The Lakers are gonna score 116. We on sure what part about that? Did, didn't I just give you the numbers? <laughs> I'm just reiterating. You said 116 against a very good defensive so, team that is very deep. The one glaring weakness I saw the other night at Golden State, and you do have a leg up because you got to play a real game before we got to play a real game. But the one glaring weakness I saw was I couldn't see much off the bench. I I kept waiting for the shock troops to come in, and they were shockingly non-existent. Yeah, we we, we bad in that. You're you're a little shaky. Okay, so my starters are the true king of L.A., Kawhi Leonard, who's finally back, Paul George, Reggie Jackson, Marcus Morris, and Big Zoo. And then off my bench come John Wall, Norman Powell, Luke Kennard, Nicholas Batum, Robert Covington, and Terrence Mann. I'm good because I, I kind of like my my next six as much as I like sort of my first, first five. five. Okay. Because they're pretty good. Goat going to get his. Mm. Who Goat, gonna, who Goat go, will get who his. Gonna, okay, who going to guard AD? Big Zoo. Oh, Big Zoo going to get it. You we think gonna so? Who going to give him that work? I don't know. 80 go have, 80 probably have. I need 80 to have 30 and 14. Mm. 
So is AD going to step out and jack up eight threes and make that, two not, of them? No, no, AD need to let, let them threes go. Mm. Let the threes go for a minute right now. Just mm. work on that mid-range, put really? the ball on the floor, get to the – and stay off the floor. Huh. He on the floor like Ja Morant. You're too big to be falling down like Ja. That's true. So uh, you, you realize at home, because you are at home, even though it's their home also, but you're at home, you're a five-and-a-half-point underdog Give me the five on the floor. Give me the five in. You're talking big you and bad. You, you like, you, you got, oh, we got Norman Powell, we got Covington, you, we got John Wall. Give, yeah. me, give me that number. Give me the five in. You predicted yesterday with no points discussed, you said the Lakers will beat the Clippers. And then you didn't even know about the points because I think you're shocked that you're a five-and-a-half-point dog. So now you want the points. I need them. Okay, you don't need the points because you got – quote, unquote, the GOAT. But you say he the pony GOAT. You're, but he ain't the king. You mm. say the Kawhi the king the, of LA. The king of LA, because remember, he had the little crown dangling from the keychain. You get what? Yeah. No, they didn't. no, 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 no. They ain't do nothing to Luca. Mm. Luca, Luca dropped a forty bomb, dropped like a several forty bombs on him. Yeah, Luca but, was up two games to none with a Friday night game before a raucous sellout crowd in he, Dallas. He wasn't supposed. He wasn't even supposed to be up. Yeah, he wasn't even supposed to be there. Yeah, little well, Luca by himself, little baby bird. Really, gave it to everybody. Gave it to Paul George. Gave it to Kawhi. Gave it to Marcus Mars. Gave it to uh, Pat. Was Pat Bell that is? Because he was giving it to everybody. Mm. Everybody that wanted something, say, "Come and get your piece." And then they all gave it right back to him. But and tonight, he lost. oh, go, yep. go, continue that quest to, really? to Kareem. Pass Kareem. Yes, yeah. the whole season is based on passing Kareem. Skip PK. Look, skip. You know it's a skip. Come on, this is a mm. documentary. We got this is chronicle. It's been almost 40 years. Yeah. You didn't, I didn't think I was going to see somebody break this record. No. Nope. Like you understand you, how, long you got to, how long you got to play and to play great. I so got basically it. somebody else is going to come along to break the record. You got to play 20 years mm -hmm. and average at least 25. I get it. Good and look. so the point is the Lakers who used to be showtime are now side showtime thanks to the phony goat passing Kareem. What would you That's mean? It. Why are you upset? Side show time. Why, why are you upset about well, that? I mean, the whole season built around him passing Kareem. That's all you got. That's not, that's not what our season is built around. Mm -hmm. It just so happens that's in there. Our season is based on we're trying to, like, win X amount of games, position ourselves, and contend for a championship. Mm -hmm. But in the process of that... Mm. <laughs> so I had the courage of my convictions. I picked the Clippers to win it all this year. So now it's time for you to have the courage of yours and straight up, Pick the Lakers on, on their home floor to beat the Clippers who live in the basement straight up. No points five, no, no, for no, two cases. No, two no, cases give me right five. here, right now. Give me the five. Y'all got, I mean, I mean, think, look at what you just told me. Y'all got Paul George. Y'all got Kawhi, Robert Covington, and Terrence Mann, and John Wall. Who will be the best player on the floor? You all know the best player. Okay. What John, you mean the floor? He's the best player to ever to be on the basketball court. Okay. All right. So the best player on the floor.